Welcome back. I am going to go into my two weeks worth of groceries from Aldi with you and if you like haul videos please give us a thumbs up. Uh, it's my favorite grocery store so I just wanted to do a quick rundown of what we eat in a week and what I pick up there for the kids lunches and things like that so here we go. So I started doing this and it wasn't recording so I'm starting over again. I got these for the kids peanut butter filled pretzels for lunches like a you know carby type of snack. Baby spinach, they were out of the baby mixed greens that I usually get. Chicken thighs, I got two of these because uh, this is my protein typically during the week. 12 grain bread for kids sandwiches and stuff like that. First ingredient, whole wheat flour, that's what I look for, although I try to limit their bread pretty much all together. These taquitos, this is like for a snack for the kids when they get home from school. Yes, this is pretty much considered to be junk food. Really not a good ingredients list, but there are some exceptions that I make and I try to limit their junk, but this is like easy. I'm a single mom, I work full time, and uh, sometimes we gotta roll with stuff like this. This one goes up in the bathroom for my skincare routine. If you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. Then this I cook with, so that's going on the counter, I was out. Then I've got these mini sweet, signature mini peppers that Lily loves and she has been taking them in her lunch so I figured the more veggies we can get the better so I grabbed these. Gotta have our butter. I use that in my protein pancakes in the morning. Mini cucumbers, another one of Lily's favorites and mom. Gotta have the canned green beans. Our Mio or Aldi version of Mio. I got orange tangerine and raspberry lemonade. I got picked up this snacking cheese habanero jack for me for snacks for a good source of protein. I got these, yes, another junky treat for my children, but if your children don't eat cookies ever or sweets, then um, huh, that's awesome. My kids, unfortunately, like stuff like that. Strawberry fruit strips for their lunches or snacks, things like that. They are the Simply Nature brand, which is like uh, all usually a lot of organic. See, it's all fruit, basically, for the ingredients. I don't want any high fructose corn syrup. I got apple sauces for their lunches, three of these. I got two of these ground turkey. I'm gonna make these like Greek ground turkey burgers for a meal one night. Tortellini, basil pesto tortellini for the kids for a dinner one night. I got two Capri Suns for lunches. I got breakfast blend coffee, olive oil for cooking of course, and recipes. I got two dozen eggs. I use these every morning in my protein pancakes. Lily likes hard boiled eggs for a snack so we always need eggs. I got three of these, this is weird, not a grocery purchase, but three of these uh, replacement cocoa liners are like $1.49 a piece. Okay, then I, this is also weird, I got these heel snugs that I saw because I have a pair of heels right now that need these, they like lift off my foot every time I walk. Sweet treat I got for the kids. This is gonna last us, these groceries will last us about two weeks too, so uh, these are like Samoas. Center cut pork chops. Then sliced. I usually cook these for my lunches or dinners. Zucchini squash. A block of Monterey Jack. I usually use that for on top of a chicken thigh or pork chop. Spiral um, cheese sticks. Another good option for a protein snack for me and the kids. They take these in their lunches. I got this snack combo. It's a, uh, let's see, 20 chip bag of chips for like, I think it was like $4.69 or something like that. Mild garlic salsa, this is good on chicken as well as pork chops or in recipes or for the kids to dip chips in. Tomato basil, another, um, or uh, the Simply Nature brand, so everything's organic in there. And I just, the carbs were only seven grams of carbs as opposed to most of the other kinds they had there were 12 carbs. So I like that and I just like that it has simple ingredients on the back instead of all the chemicals. Asparagus. Whole milk vanilla yogurt. I get this for the kids. Dylan loves this. Lily likes it too. It's obviously organic as you can see on the label. The ingredients are awesome. I have talked about this before like in my Trader Joe's haul but I get full fat yogurt and dairy products for the most part almost always because it satiates you longer having the fat in there. Also when they take fat out of something like dairy products they're going to replace it with sugars and extra things like that. Then I thought it'd be fun to do wings one night, so I got a bag of wings. I picked up this jalapeno artichoke dip because it looked delicious and it only had one carb. And then for their like nighttime treat occasionally, ice cream crunch bars and unsweetened applesauce. And then I also picked up 
a 24 pack of water. These are 16.9 full ounce waters and they were 2.29 I believe. This is another random thing that I grabbed too that was in that total. And it's a, just a glass pitcher that I thought was cute. I think it was like four bucks. And I thought it would be good for doing like sangria on the porch or, or something like that. We like to sit out with the girls in the summertime and just sit out there and uh, have some wine or this would be good for lemon water, whatever. My total spent on all that you just saw was $139.40. There you go, guys. So that's what we eat typically in a couple weeks' time. There's a, a couple extra sugary things in there I picked up this week, I noticed. But I try to keep lots of fresh vegetables and fruits. And I did not get any fruit this time because we still had a few apples left over in the fruit drawer. And I didn't feel like we needed more. But normally I'll throw in some cuties or mandarins or tangerines or apples or bananas for fresh fruit for the kids for snacks and breakfast. But this week I did not, so. If you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button below. I would love to see your face back here. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or feedback for future videos. Thank you guys for watching. As always, have a wonderful day.